Welcome to our presentation of how to create a KPI dashboard using PowerPoint. For more information, visit presentationpoint.com. When businesses and organizations are looking to monitor what's happening in their organization, they often work with what are called key performance indicators, KPIs. These are metrics that give you an insight into the health overall of your business or organization. There's KPIs for sales, for finance, for customers, and for human resources. Let's talk about a few possible KPIs you could track using PowerPoint. So in the sales aspect of things, you can measure your growth, opportunities, product rankings, profit margins, how well you're doing to target, and the performance of your sales team. For marketing, you can say, okay, well, how is our web traffic doing? Where's our web traffic coming from? Which are our best converting channels for web traffic? What does it cost us to generate a lead? Well, how are we ranking for keywords? How is our social media doing? And how many people are actually engaging or clicking on emails we send out? For financial metrics, you can, of course, watch your profit and loss, but also track things that are of real interest to accountants, such as your accounts receivable and its turnover, your accounts payable, and you know your working capital, return on equity, many other things that you can track as well. For your customers, you can track what's happening with support tickets. Uh, you know, what's the overall feeling from clients of ratings of our products? How long is it taking to get a support ticket answered? And how well are our support agents doing? In human resources, you can track your employee turnover rate, training hours per employee, training costs per employee, average salary, you know, how much is compensation costing you as a percentage of revenue, and other KPIs as well. So we can't fit all of those into this one little short video. So we're going to work with two sales metrics for this example. One is sales growth and one is product rankings. So the first step is you're going to need to find out where in your organization is the sales info. Where can we find out, you know, how much, what are our sales happening or what are our product rankings? And the probably the best spot for this is your accounting software. Your accounting software should be able to tell you your sales growth and it should be able to tell you which products are doing the best. Alternatively, your shopping cart system software may have some of this information, but if you're selling both online and offline, it won't really give you a true picture. So your accounting software is the best way. So how do we get that information from our accounting software into, into PowerPoint? So here's a number of methods. Number one, look for feeds within your accounting software. Does, does it give you a feed in either XML or RSS? Or does the accounting software have an API, a JSON API that you can use to hook into? If not, just export the information to Microsoft Excel. Pretty well every piece of accounting software has got to export to Excel. If it doesn't, you're probably using the wrong accounting software. So now that you've got your sales info, let's look for how do we get it into PowerPoint. The first step is to get the PowerPoint add-on, which is called DataPoint. To do this, you're going to visit presentationpoint.com, download and install the software, then open PowerPoint and create a presentation. Now that you've got your PowerPoint presentation set up, uh, you're going to want to insert a chart. So you're going to click on the chart feature, which is where the pink arrows are up top, and then choose which type of chart do you want. Do you want a column, a line chart, bar chart, pie chart? Pick whichever one you want. Now that you've got your chart inserted, we're going to connect it to data. So then you're going to click on the data point tab, which will be at the top of your screen in PowerPoint after you've installed it. And then you're going to want to click on the list command, and then you're going to want to choose to add a connection. You'll see here you can add a connection for Microsoft Access, MySQL, Oracle, Excel, XML. So you look for the best uh, method you've got here. In this case, I'm going to choose the option of an Excel file. So I would click on Excel file, choose Add Connection, and then I'm going to choose for the next step to create a query. So we're going to choose an Add Query.
query, which will then help let us choose which rows uh, we want to include in the data. And once we've done that, our sales growth will show up in, in our uh, PowerPoint presentation. And we can do the same thing with our product rankings as well. So really, any data that you have in any of the common data formats, uh, such as Excel, uh, CSV files, uh, RSS feeds, XML feeds, can easily be pulled into PowerPoint using the system. So you can use PowerPoint to create KPI dashboards that can include all of this information. If you're looking for templates for some of these uh, ideas, uh, visit presentationpoint.com and have a look and we'll be happy to help you there. Click on the contact button there if you've got any questions at all about how to use DataPoint or any of the other add-ons. Thank you so much for listening.